I rise today in strong support of H.J. Resolution 40. As part of our bold agenda for the American people, we are reining in the out-of-control bureaucracy in Washington. We're taking action to roll back eight years of Obama administration overreach. Today, we're stopping an egregious violation that flies in the face of the Constitution. This regulation finalized in the final days of the Obama presidency would deny certain Social Security recipients their Second Amendment rights without due process. If you receive Social Security disability payments and someone helps you manage those payments, this regulation stops you from being able to purchase a firearm. Your name gets added to a federal database and the burden is on you to prove it doesn't belong there. This is absolutely outrageous. This regulation discriminates against individuals with disabilities by denying them their Second Amendment rights and violating their rights of due process. And it gives far too much power to bureaucrats at the Social Security Administration who should be focused on making sure people get the benefits they deserve, not deciding who can own a gun. This is why we're standing up for the Second Amendment rights of all disabled citizens. Being disabled doesn't make you a danger to society. And getting help managing your benefits doesn't mean you forfeit your constitutional rights. Mr. Chairman, I want to absolutely thank Congressman Sam Johnson, Congressman Ralph Abraham for their leadership on this issue. I strongly support this res resolution. I urge my colleagues to do the same. I, and Mr. Speaker, I'd like to add, uh, ask for unanimous consent to include in the record additional letters of support. Without objection.